Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Now, I have to apologise that I haven't put out a lot of content over the last week or two, uh, mainly because I've been a bit of a donut actually. I uh, accidentally deleted five videos that were supposed to come out over the next um, week or two. So I've deleted them all. So I'm going to have to redo them all. There's a couple I'm going to be doing outside. The weather today is a little bit iffy with some thunderstorms. But I've got a little break in the weather, so I'm going to go and set up outside and I'll see you in a little bit. What a donut. Right, folks, welcome to another video. We're outside um, the academy on the pitching area at Chessfield Golf Club here. Um, yeah, like I said, oh man, I've been so silly that I deleted pretty much all my footage of my videos that I'm going to be putting out for the next couple of weeks. So try to get them back out of the cloud, but unfortunately, uh, no such luck. So I'm going to have to start again. So I've got a little break in the cloud, in the weather. It's been very thundery today. So we're just outside on the pitching area here. I've got a little feedback exercise that you can try um, next time you go pitching. So we, I see quite a lot of clients and a lot of students, and especially when we play captain and pro matches, struggle from this distance, especially with fatting the ball. If you hit the ball clean, that's what you're trying to look for with a shot like this, more than fatting. But this exercise and this video is all going to be about trying to stop you from fatting the ball. So we've got five balls in front of me here. Four of them are on tees. First one you may or may not see, is on a white double-decker castle tee. Now, obviously, this is going to be pretty easy for me to just clip away. And that's going to give me, obviously, quite an easy, easy kind of start. So I've got quite a lot of scope for not striking it perfectly, and we're going to, very, going to find it very hard to hit the ground from that white tee. This one is the next one down. It's blue. So a little bit closer to the floor, but obviously still quite a long way in the air. So obviously it's going to be pretty easy for me to not hit the ball fat from there. Okay, next one is the red. So we're going to get slowly closer to the ground. So it's a really great little exercise feedback. So it's still giving me quite a lot of scope for error. So back and through, hit that one a little chunky actually, but got away with it. I think if that was on the floor, I might be a little bit, uh, might have might have gone a little bit shorter. You can see I was a bit steep into that one. Right, the next one is the smallest castle tee we can do. It's the little green one. You won't be able to see it, but so it's slightly off in the air. Okay, back and through. Let's see if I can hit this one a little bit cleaner, which I did. So you can see the four shots there, proving that obviously the first two were way up in the air, so I can hit clean. The next two is a bit closer to the ground, which I can, obviously it's going to take a little bit more turf with this one. And then the final one, we're going to go back onto the ground and we're just going to clip it away. Now, if you're finding it hard from a certain distance, you can go, or a certain height, you can go to either, I would say it's either probably going to be the red or the green. So it's a great feedback exercise about where you are and where you're making contact with the ground. So let's go back into the mechanics of this pit shot. And I would say, you know, I gave, I've just given actually Joe um, a lesson on pitching. Now he had a real trouble with fatting it, even from six, basically from 60 to 10 yards from the green, he kept fatting it. So he's now, he's seen videos where he's trying to hit down as much as possible, which is obviously what you're looking for for a chip shot. You want to hit down as much as you can, but there's a natural down. You don't actually try and do it. So. Remember, I'm going to give you pretty much two feelings to stop you fatting the ball. Now, the first feeling with a pitch shot of 50 yards, say this is to that far flag on the right, 40 yards, is you want to be able to change the low point. So actually where you start and where you make contact with the ground, the club wants to naturally hit past about an inch past where it starts. Now you don't try and do that, forcibly trying to do that. It happens because where you start and where you make contact are two different places. So what you've got to focus on is moving this torso. We're talking from kind of middle of your sternum here, your belly button, belt buckle, kind of your knees and hips as well are turning through the ball slightly. People who stop, the club wants to then bottom out too early and you're probably going to fat it. 
So turning through the shop is always going to be your main ingredient. The more you can do that, the less you're going to hit it fat. So remember, the little icing on the cake, little spices to the ingredient, the recipe, are nice soft hands. Keeping the hands nice and light, you're not gripping it hard, that makes it nice and heavier, the club, so it allows the wrist to move a little bit more natural. And you're looking to turn through with your belly button and torso. Right, if I can get Trev out of the way. Trev? Trev, come on, let's get out of the way, bud. Come on, you're in the way of the shot. Good boy, you stay there. So we're on the ground, we're just gonna feel like we're gonna turn our torso through. And then you're gonna see there, people who fat the ball wanna try and hit it as clean as possible off the floor. And to help with that, remember we're trying to turn our torso and our belly button and our hips through the shot. Because remember, we're trying to, like I said, activate where the low point is. We don't want the club hitting the ground first. This is the first, remember, the first of the ingredients. Turn through. You can see nicely clipped there, I'm not trying to lift it up in the air. It gives you a little bit of natural weight shift onto your left leg, if you're right-handed, obviously. It stops you going to go back here and turn, because if you try and lift, your weight's back on your back leg here, and you're not turning through at all. Remember, the secret to pitching is being able to turn through the shot. Before you get to impact, you want your torso leading your club head. You don't ever want this club head taking over. It's not like a full swing. Okay, turn through nice and soft. There's no lift, there's no trying to strike down at all. Now, second ingredient to this recipe is you do not want this leading edge this front bit here, you do not want that leading edge going into the ground too steeply because it's great for the elite pitchers and chippers of the ball to be able to do that, but that's elite. If you're really struggling and you've got a real problem with trying to, you know, you're feeling a little bit edgy, what you're looking for, you're looking for this club to kind of be new, very neutral coming into the ball. You're not looking for this thing to come in like a, like a butter knife. Because if you're too steep and the club is kind of coming in too steep and the leading edge is hitting down into the ground too much, you only have to be a blade of grass behind it. And this type of thing will happen. So you can see, the problem is I hit down, but I only made contact probably a quarter of an inch before the ball and the ball only went 10 yards ahead of me. Now you could say what I'd need to do is try and hit down more in front of the ball, which is obviously correct because I hit before the ball. But what the problems I see sometimes with that happening is people then would hit down and it would be to excess. So actually hit on top of the ball there. So they get a little bit, they're not really sure what to do here. They're trying to hit down, but it gets too I think basically what I'm saying, it basically gets too fine. It's like you're on this kind of knife's edge of trying to be perfect. But what you're actually trying to do is get this club, if I can get in a bit closer, you're trying to get this club coming down, if I can get it right there, neutral. You don't want this thing coming in too steep here. You want this thing coming in and using the bottom of the club. So this thing, you know, there's a, there's a video of Tiger hitting some pitches that he doesn't take any divot. So he's just clipping the, the ball off the top and he's just clipping the, the club off the top of the grass with no kind of force hitting down. So you can get away with it. So the two feelings are, you're trying to come back with this club kind of neutral, which means it's now pointing back up at me. It's not too much of a leading edge, which is fine if you want to send one in a bit quick, but I would say 95% of your chip shots, if not all, are going to be normal standard ones, and pitch shots, I mean. So you're trying to get this club back into neutral, but we're not staying there with our belly, we're turning through. So this club's coming in neutral, back into neutral and turn through. So it's just a little bit of both. 
but you're really using the bottom of the club to bounce off the top of the grass instead of butter knifing this thing into the ground. Right, let's try a few. So I'm going to really feel like this club's nice and light in my hands and I'm going to feel like the club, the bottom of the club is bouncing. So if I exaggerated it, this is the feeling I gave Joe. If I exaggerated it, I'm kind of like this. Letting the club just bounce and obviously I don't want to do that. So I'm not doing that, you see. I'm letting the club pass me, so I'm really using the bottom of the club so I can just brush the top of the grass but then I'm going to turn through at the same time. So that's the feeling. So it's like a little, it's like a, basically what really, it's called flicking, I'm basically flicking my wrists and then I'm turning through at the same time. So it's not that, ex it's not that to that excess. Back, bounce it through. You can see how clean that was. It doesn't matter what you're on. It doesn't matter if you're on a bit of grass, a uh, bit of sand, mud, soft lie. Hard light doesn't really matter because you're just going to bounce that club off the ground, but you can stop it over flicking by turning through as well. If you just stay put and do that, you're probably going to fat it or thin it. Probably thin it more than anything because if I stay back and don't do this and flick, there she goes. And the opposite side, if I'm trying to keep my hands too far forward and drive this thing too far forward, although I hit that fine, there's too much down. You can see there's too sharp into the ball there. So it's a combination of those two feelings, folks. Turn through with the bod and use this and match up this club. And this club needs to be matched back up into my body. It doesn't want to be pointing ahead and turn through at the same time. So really bounce the bottom of the club on the ground. A little bit thin, but thin is good. I'll leave you on a good one. Remember we've got that exercise of the four different T heights or you can do a couple of different T heights. You don't have to do four. Obviously the first two, the white and the blue are quite up in the air. So pretty easy, but always start from easy. And then you can, because I think it takes away the, the feel of the anxiety of hitting off the ground. If you can get this ball up in the air, it gives you a little bit of leeway and you really focus on the actual movements itself without the worry of the result. Okay, let's try and finish on a really nice one. Turn my torso through the ball and really get this club matching up into my belly. All the way through. Back, through. It was a really nice strike. Got a little high. Okay, so any sort of pitching, remember pitching is really kind of a, not a full swing. So it's anything between, well, it's different for everyone, but it's anything between 30 to 60 yards, 70 yards, anything that's not really a full swing. Okay, so lovely to have you along for another video. Sorry that the content's been a bit slow over the last week. Like I said, oh my God, I'm trying not to, I'll keep them safe this time. I've learnt my lesson, so obviously lovely to have you along for, an, for another video. Love to hear what you have to say. Um, please send me your thoughts on this one and please like and subscribe. See you on the next one from myself and Trev. Cheerio.